Hi, little Bob here to let you know that my Bobopedic mattresses offer the comfort and quality of a national mattress brand for half the price. No matter your budget, there's a Bobopedic memory foam hybrid or hybrid plus mattress for you. But don't take it from me. Check them out at mybobs.com. Hi, little Bob here to let you know that my Bobopedic mattresses offer the comfort and quality of a national mattress brand for half the price. No matter your budget, there's a Bobopedic memory foam hybrid or hybrid plus mattress for you. But don't take it from me. Check them out at mybobs.com. The leftist purge of conservatives, people of faith, and those who believe in the vision of our founding fathers and who are willing to stand up for it has now reached a crescendo, a high level. Introduced this morning in the Pelosi-run House of Representatives, and I'm sure there's a lot of support in the Senate as well, the so-called legislation that the people and people who believe in the vision of our founding fathers are domestic terrorists, and they will be hunted down and destroyed by our FBI and Department of Injustice, now run by radical leftists under the guise of our Manchurian candidate, someone who's been bribed to the hilt by the communist Chinese, Joe Biden, and the evil witch pathological line, so-called Vice President Kamala Harris. Unbelievable. And just this week, the FBI has been fanning out for people who were appeared in support of the president in Washington, D.C. two weeks ago Wednesday, hunting them down, demanding that they turn over their cell phones, otherwise they'll get a warrant, with the implication that they'll be indicted. We are living in a Soviet-style KGB state or an East German Stasi state, or for that matter, the equivalent of Nazi Germany. And this is where we are today. And that's why I wrote my book, It Takes a Revolution, Forget the Scandal Industry. I predicted this was going to happen. Despite all the phony and false predictions of Sean Hannity and others on Fox News, that there would be justice. Yes, now the justice system has been trained against conservatives, people of faith, and those who believe in the vision of our founding fathers. And now they want to eliminate Donald Trump and make sure he stays dead and buried, dancing on his grave with an unconstitutional phony impeachment. But that's not the half of it, because you can expect that leftist district attorneys in New York City and the Justice Department under Biden will find a reason if Trump does not go away with a whimper and keep his mouth shut, he and his family will be criminally indicted. They will destroy him and they will send a so-called warning to the rest of us that we will be destroyed as well. And that's where we are, ladies and gentlemen, fellow patriots, make no mistake about it. You can go to your country clubs, you can go to your community swimming pools, you can think that all is fine, but things are not fine. Things are very bad. And in just the first day of the Biden-Harris administration, if you wanna call it that, I would call it the regime. I would call it the communist takeover. 17 executive orders opening up our southern borders to terrorists and others. Talk about terrorists, the real terrorists that come in, the Muslim terrorists through our southern border and drug dealers, killing the Alaska pipeline, sending many people out of work, and 15 other executive orders reversing virtually everything that Donald Trump did on behalf of the American people. And now to make sure that no one rises up and challenges them, they're going to try to pass legislation that essentially, if you're white and believe in the vision of our founding fathers, you are now a terrorist. And you even heard that on Fox News this week, Arthel Neville, the African-American commentator. And there were whites that did it as well, Chris Wallace, calling the people that rose up a week, two weeks ago, Wednesday, domestic terrorists. And why is that? Because the people in Washington, D.C., of all persuasions, colors, races, and creeds, now know that when they walk down the street, they better watch their back. And why is that? And I'm not advocating that anybody get hurt. Believe me, quite the contrary. That's why I wrote my book, It Takes a Revolution. But that's because the American people have seen that all three branches of government are corrupt to the core and no longer represent them. They now know that. And that's why these people in Washington are fearful. And that's why they're running for the exits and they want to persecute anybody that will stand up for what we wrote in our Declaration of Independence, that when in the course of human events, the sovereign, the rulers no longer represent the American people, 
they have the right under the laws of nature and nature's God to alter or abolish that oppressive government and to form a new government by and for the people with equal rights for everyone in pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness. I'm paraphrasing, of course. And that's where we are today. And that's what I wrote about in my book. And that's how we're going to do it. Citizens' grand juries hold the guilty accountable. People's justice under the laws of nature and nature's God, as it says in our Declaration of Independence. And we're going to be meeting in late May or early June. I'm going to set the date very soon where people from all over this country can come in a third continental Congress. And we're going to reenact our Constitution with certain changes, taking away immunity for judges, federal officials who think that they can do whatever they want, that they're above the law. We're putting into our Constitution a provision that you can't discriminate on against people on the basis of their beliefs, their political beliefs and ideology. And we're going to form a new government. And we're going to nominate a president. We're going to hold non-fraudulent elections. And we're going to hold elections for Congress. And we're going to have a Supreme Court that wasn't bought and paid for with political campaign contributions, a special interest to put them on the bench, because we can see just how worthless that Supreme Court is as well. Even the president's own justices stabbed him in the back. Even the president's own vice president, like Brutus in the Roman Senate, stabbed Donald Trump in the back and refused to even send back to the states the certifications to make sure that those certifications were done without fraud. This is what we're dealing with today, ladies and gentlemen. Our backs are up against the wall, and we will fight our way out peacefully and legally and form a new nation under God with liberty and justice for all, and we'll do so peacefully. And if they want to come for us, so be it. We will not be violent, but we will be resolute, and we will stand our ground, and we'll defend ourselves with our Second Amendment rights if required. So that's where we are today. You think about it. Get my book, It Takes a Revolution. Forget the scandal industry. Read the Declaration of Independence and snap out of it because the country as you know it no longer exists. We have to put it back to the way our founding fathers created it on July 4th, 1776. And if we don't do it quickly, all's going to be lost. Listen to my weekly radio show at Radio America. I expound on these thoughts. I have a great guest on Charles Butler, a very brave conservative black American hear what he has to say, and get this out far and wide. Share it with everybody. This is the clarion call to stand up for your country before it's too late. God helps those that help themselves. The Father and his son are with us, but we must do it now or it all will be lost. Thank you for listening to me. I'll be back Monday with another special podcast, A Special Prosecutor with Larry Klayman. You might not think that a few simple words could make you crave McDonald's breakfast sandwiches. But if you listen closely to the sound of me saying McGriddles, McMuffin, you might be wrong. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. To show you how easy it is to file a claim with Geico, we hired a soap opera star. Gracious me, my car has storm damage and I've had to file a claim. Could it possibly get worse? Will my claims team leave me for someone else? Someone less intense? Um, no. Actually, when you file a claim with GEICO, you get your own dedicated claims team who promises to stay with you throughout the process. Oh, I've never known such loyalty. I can't wait for the second season. GEICO. Great service without all the drama. Hi, little Bob here to let you know that my Bobopedic mattresses offer the comfort and quality of a national mattress brand for half the price. No matter your budget, there's a Bobopedic memory foam hybrid or hybrid plus mattress for you. But don't take it from me. Check them out at mybobs.com.